Hello everyone, welcome back to another weather update. There are three clouds to, to open the course to Kenya Airport with a temperature of 83 degrees Fahrenheit and humidity of 49%. The wind speeds are around 6 miles per hour and the wind direction is variable since the winds are so light right now. With a barometer of about 30.25 inches of mercury or 1024.2 millibars of pressure and 2.60 degrees Fahrenheit, it's a relatively warm and uh, dry day today with, uh, with low humidity and uh, low dew points. Visibility is at 10 miles, there is clear visibility in the area, and a heat index is at 84 degrees Fahrenheit, and the last update was at February 25th at 12.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Looking at our 7 day forecast, you'll find this afternoon, uh, sunny conditions are expected with a high of 85 degrees Fahrenheit. For tonight, mostly clear conditions are expected early on, then a patchy fog is expected for later tonight and early into Saturday morning as another cold front comes to our area. The low of 61 degrees Fahrenheit is expected for tonight. Uh, the cold front that's coming through our area this weekend isn't expected to bring down our temperatures very much. In fact, uh, the temperatures will still be in the 80s for most of the week, uh, the highs, and the lows will be in the 60s for most of the week as well. So the temperature is going to barely uh, make a dent, uh, the cold front is going to barely make a dent in our temperatures. And it's also not going to really bring any precipitation either. It's just going to bring a patchy fog uh, throughout tonight and early Saturday morning. Uh, for Saturday, uh, in early in the afternoon, the Apache Bog will give way to sunny conditions with a high of 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Then for Saturday night, most of the conditions are expected with a low of 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, for Sunday, sunny conditions are expected with a high of 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And for Sunday night, similar conditions will, will prevail with most of the conditions expected with a low of 60 degrees Fahrenheit forecast. For Monday, sunny conditions are expected again with a high of 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Then Monday night, uh, partly cloudy conditions are expected with a low of 59 degrees Fahrenheit. For Tuesday, it will it'll be a little bit cooler with a high of 78 degrees Fahrenheit, but still relatively warm, with most of the sunny conditions in the forecast. Let's take a look at the true colors out, and majority you notice that while Florida remains warm and dry, the same cannot be said for the Northeast, which is currently experiencing the effects of winter storm Oakley. Although the winter storm has weakened somewhat, it still remains a major weather event for the Northeast. It, it's, uh, over the past several days, it's brought uh, snow and uh, icy conditions to the Northeast, as well as uh, parts of the, uh, of the Midwest and the South. Um, making conditions dangerous, especially in the Northeast for travel, especially for driving. If you plan on driving through um, the Northeast, I would wait until conditions are clear up or authorities uh, deem the area safe to do so. And as always, please consult the National Weather Service before making any plans uh, while traveling. Here's another look at the winter storm, this time with the uh, infrared satellite imagery. You'll notice the, uh, the precipitation is uh, leaving the Northeast right now, so things are starting to clear up a little bit. But you should still expect the uh, icy conditions and heavy snow throughout the day. Let's take another look at the uh, system with the water vapor imagery. And you'll notice the same thing, the difference between the uh, cool or drier air and dark colors and the warm moist air, which is uh, in brighter colors. And this is how you have some use of winter storm is. Um, the National Weather Service Weather Protection Center in College Park, uh, Maryland has issued a short range forecast discussion at 3.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday, February 25th, 2022. And this is valid from 12Z or 7 a.m. Uh, for Friday, February 25th, 2022 to 7 a.m. Uh, or 12Z on Sunday, February 27th, 2022. It states that a major winter storm is impacting areas from the Great Lakes into the Northeast, with the exception of Northern Maine today. Heavy rain threat over the interior eastern U.S. early today will give way to fine and cold conditions over the weekend. Also, there's an increase in chance of precipitation moving into uh, Texas and uh, deep south in the deep south this weekend, as well as over the Pacific Northwest, thanks to another low pressure system. So, while northern Maine might be exempt from the uh, worst effects of the storm, if you're living anywhere else in the northeast, you should expect uh, heavy snow and ice conditions from this winter storm. And they will not only affect the northeast, but it will also affect uh, much of the eastern news as well. Uh, even though you might not see snow, you'll still experience uh, cold temperatures from this winter storm. Unless you're in Florida, but in Florida, you're, if you're that far south, you're not really going to experience as much, as much of an effect as you would if you were closer to a system. It's took at the idea for the weather model to determine exactly when winter storm Oakley will, will leave the northeast. You can see by Saturday morning, skies will start to clear out as winter storm Oakley makes its exit from the region. But by Sunday afternoon, you'll notice another area of low pressure. Working, will work its way uh, through the Pacific Northwest, bringing with it rain and possibly even snow to parts of uh, Washington, Oregon, and Northern California. As we head into uh, Thursday and Friday, um, we'll notice that uh, that same low pressure system will have worked its way through the Rockies and will be poised to enter the, uh, the Midwest and, and possibly even the Northeast. 
Well, it could fizzle out as in, in the coming days. People are able to in the Northeast. You'll have to wait and see as uh, as the week progresses um, and as the models in as the model continues to well, models continue to change and update on its uh, on the storm's uh, track and intensity. Because models do change over time, as weather conditions do change over time, so you'll have to wait and see exactly uh, what the uh, track and intensity of this uh, low pressure system will be to determine whether or not it will affect the northeast or the midwest. According to our storm prediction center website, there are no spread down storms forecast in around the country over the next few days. There are also no uh, uh, severe thunderstorm watch or tornado watch warnings in around the country. We do have one mesoscale skill discussion, and that is uh, because of a severe uh, winter weather. Actually, that's because of a heavy snowfall resulting from a winter storm Oakley. And this mesoscale discussion covers areas of southern and central Maine, as well as uh, northern and central Vermont and um, New Hampshire, as well as areas of uh, far northeastern New York. In this region, areas of heavy snow will likely persist uh, through the late afternoon. Snowfall rates above 1 inch power are likely, as mid-level mid warm, warm moist air uh, moves from the, the Atlantic Ocean uh, nor northward over land. That warm moist air will contribute to uh, instability and, uh, and will contribute to heavy snowfall in the region. So if you do plan on traveling, uh, please be mindful of weather conditions and road conditions as well. If uh, nothing conditions are safe, I would recommend not traveling in the area. Of course, you should always consult the local authorities and the National Weather Service before making plans on whether to travel or not. And, and please stay safe in the area. And as always, thank you for watching this weather update and hope you enjoyed it.